Good morning, everybody. I want to thank what a great crowd uh, to come out here on one of, I think, the most important day in the history of this vessel. I just don't know how you could come up with anything more significant than what Atlas Machine has done for the Belle of Louisville. Literally, as we're nearing the 100th anniversary on October the 18th of this vessel, we have an opportunity now for this vessel to run for another 100 years, and that's no exaggeration. What we're celebrating is an amazing gift, a gift they've given to the community, which really is a gift to every citizen in Jefferson County. Well, I have to tell you, this was really a labor of love for for us and for our people. Particularly, I think we need to point out and, and express our gratitude to the real unsung heroes here. Uh, that is Jim uh, McCoy and his crew, his technical crew here on the Bell. And this has just been a pleasure for us to be able to, to work with you and your crew to uh, bring the engines in this vessel back up to at least new standards, maybe even better than new standards. These engines, they were put in the Bell, as I understand, around 1911, and they were used engines then. What we did was repair what needed to be rebuilt. It was worn beyond any kind of semblance of being able to operate efficiently. It was well due. As we get older, uh, just like the machine is just like us, we tend to sag a little bit and wear in certain areas and that's what's occurred inside the, uh, the cylinder. The, the way we were able to use the laser track, we were able to put that cylinder in the exact most optimum place and minimize the material removal to obtain a perfect cylinder. So what we did basically design a sleeve that would replace the old one and in doing so we were able to build up with some processes that only Atlas can do. They can run the, they can run the boat just barely cracking the throttle now which used to require about a half a turn. Everything is just in so much better shape now than it used to be and the things that were worn out and needed replacing are taken care of now. As far as I know these cylinders have never been bored out before. They may have been cleaned up and some minor repairs here and there done to them, but uh, a project uh, this extensive has never uh, really occurred. And so this is really a, a major thing for the Bell. The job that Atlas is doing is, is, is crucial to the survivability of the Bell. Nobody can do the kind of things that Atlas can do. The Atlas is the company that will do the job that other companies say can't be done. Atlas has always invested heavily in the right machine equipment and the tools that it needed to do it. But what's most important is the people of Atlas. We have the finest and the most talented and skilled machinist in the city and as far as I know anywhere. The Bell is part of Louisville, a very important part of Louisville, and it just makes us all feel like we made a contribution to an icon of, of the city of Louisville.